Yo, what's going on guys? It is JD here back with another episode of the No Money Spent Road to Glory and today is actually a pretty exciting episode. As you can see by the title and most likely the thumbnail, we actually managed to get the Diamond Zion Williamson out of the Triple Threat Offline Vault, which is awesome. I definitely didn't think I'd actually get him. The Vault re uh, resets or they're upgrading them tomorrow so we'll get a new set of Vault rewards. So as the last couple of days to actually get that Diamond Zion, I actually managed to do it, which is super, super clutch. So we've got that to talk about. I've done a lot of working out actually about how much it would cost me to get up through the collector levels because of course in the last couple of days we have been thinking about it a little bit with the updates to wade and ad and um, so we'll talk about that a bit as well and then also there might be a locker code at some point for a diamond ben simmons the glitched one which is very exciting so let's jump into it but before that i am still a little bit ill so if i sound dumb or dumber than usual uh, that is why but of course the videos cannot stop so we're going to power through it today uh, and let's just jump into it so Triple Threat Online uh, event today is one extra ball drop, which isn't bad at all. So we will actually get into a game or two with this Diamond Zion Williamson, and we are in that 8pm to 10pm slot. So we're actually going to take advantage of this, which is pretty damn nice. Onto the agenda, we've got one domination for 450 NT, not even that much. Uh, and then Triple Threat Offline for not much MT at all. So pretty trash right there. Um, we will be getting, like I said, a couple of games of Triple Threat Online tonight, which is good. But even that, it's only 3,000 MT for that final reward, which sucks. And of course, it does all go towards this one, which is for 500 balls in Triple Threat Online. But even that is only for 5,000 MT. So the uh, agenda rewards really are disappointing. But yeah, 466 wins now, and we have got Zion Williamson. So out of this vault this time round, we actually managed to get every prize apart from the 30,000 MT. We didn't get that one, but... We've got everything else a good couple of times. We've got 10 tokens quite a few times. We've got a good couple of diamond consumables packs. And yeah, we've got diamond Zion Williamson, which is so, so exciting. So we come over to the auction house and we do actually have a big purchase. So diamond Hedu Turklu with a diamond contract has joined the squad. 50, not 15,000, 25,000 MT we paid for him, which is not a bad price at all. And he is going to come back into the main squad. So it was a long time ago we sold him. We did sell him for about 35-ish, I think. Um, so we bought him back for a lot cheaper price. And he's going to go now go back in at the power forward position with Lamar Odom moved. Wait, he did totally to the small forward position and Lamar Odom back to the power forward position. And there we go. That bench unit is now looking super, super shot solid and nice. And obviously that starting five is just ridiculous already. So that's pretty cool. We've added Hidu back into the squad. And in terms of that triple threat offline game, or the couple that I've played, uh, we did use Jason Kidd, so he's now on 29 games played. And I will start getting more points with him. And of course, we'll use him to get assists when we Evo up Mark Gasol as well. So hopefully have him done by early next week as well, which is super exciting. We had Jeremy Lin getting him done yesterday was awesome, super clutch. So if you guys have missed that, uh, go ahead and check it out. We got him evoed up to the pink diamond level, which is very exciting indeed. And talking of exciting, we do have the Zion Williamson diamond card from the Triple Threat Offline Vault. I think it was the first player we've got this entire year, apart from Dion Waiters. Was he from the vault? Yes, he was. So we did get Dion Waiters, and now we have got Diamond Zion Williamson, which is so exciting. So let's take a look at his badges first. He comes with 11 Hall of Fame. Including downhill, we've got fast break finisher, lob city finisher, obviously, contact finisher, chase down artist, which is very nice. And then 16 gold, we've got rebound chase on him, we've got back down punisher, we've got clamps. And then we come down here, he's also got catch and shoot, he's got quick first step and quick draw and green machine. So that's all looking pretty nice. 95 driving up with a 99 driving dunk, 99 driving dunk. He's got the mid range, he's got the three pointer. Uh, speed boosting after the coach boost, of course, that'll boost it up to 86, which is what he needs. So that's very nice. Interior and perimeter at 84, which is great. Really damn nice rebounding. And the lateral quickness of 85 and speed and acceleration of 86. So really, really nice card for Zion Williamson. And of course, he does have a pink diamond. And we can actually go ahead and compare those two right now and see if it is actually worth it. Um, or actually a decent enough upgrade between the diamond and the pink diamond. He does have six more Hall of Fame and one more gold bag. In terms of the stats, wow, not much. He's got a plus four to the three pointer, plus 13 to the path accuracy, which is pretty irrelevant. And that's it. Are you kidding me? No way. Okay, so we've literally just got a card that costs like 150k for free. That is insane. Okay, I'm so happy we managed to get him. That is crazy. As if he sells for that much. And the stats are that similar. That is unreal. Uh, but speaking of another card who could come down in price, or who will come down in price, 
Diamond glitched Ben Simmons. Like I said, he has been added to the database as a reward card. So if we go over to the reward section, to the diamond section, I believe somewhere around here, there he is. Ben Simmons is sitting there and it is a cut and, cut and paste, a, car, a copy and paste. Wow, I am struggling today. It's a copy and paste of this Ben Simmons right here. So of course, that is one with a mid-range of an 80 uh, 85 and a three-pointer of a 68 and of course just ridiculous stats everywhere else so this card is going to come down in price big time he used to sell for like two 300k um, but you can see now people have realized in the last hour that uh, they need to sell this card so there's a lot of them up in the auction house it might be a good idea uh, to actually pick this card up while everyone is panic selling because it's not a guarantee that it's going to be an easy card to get uh, and it might not affect the price of this card too much so I might go ahead and pick one up. I mean, this one's got the uh, Adidas Superstar shoe in it. I can see that right there. So that boosts his three-pointer up to a 68. Do they all have a three-point shoe on it? I'm so confused. Okay, so yeah, most of these have a diamond three-point shoes on. So it must be uh, a little bit lower than that. As standard it is, it's only a 65 as standard. So you can get it up to a 72 with the coach boost, which is hittable, but definitely not um, on a regular basis. But yeah, pretty cool to see this card coming down in price so much and to actually be attainable, which is really, really nice. So... While we are down here in the collection, I did do a little bit of quick maths, uh, sort of working out how much it would cost me to get back up to the collector level that I was at. And I was, of course, at 2,000 cards. We've hit this one for 100k. Now, the only one I'd actually aim for is 2,500 cards to get another 750 tokens, because, of course, that is another Galaxy Opal. These two completely irrelevant, realistically. So it would just be me getting for another 500 cards for 750 tokens. So quite a long way to go. But anyway, let's come down here. And let's do some quick math. So, uniforms. We're going to need about another 300 of these because I believe in total there are about 315. I've already got a couple in the club there. So, I'll say about 300. On average, about 500 MT. So, you're going to need about 150k to buy all of the uniforms back out. Now, I think on all of these estimates that I'm going to be going through, I think they are pretty uh, underestimating of myself, really. I reckon I could get them all for significantly less than that. Um, but I'm going to put the uh, higher estimate just so we can have a realistic uh, little view of it. So we're coming with coaches. I'm going to say 25 of these because quite a few of them are very expensive. So probably only be able to get about 25 of them. Uh, and they are, again, 500 MT. So it's about 12.5K MT. The balls, where there are 59... Again, we're going to put 500 MT on that, which comes in at 30,000 MT. The arenas, there's 51. Again, 500 MT, about 25K. Playbooks, 500 MT, about 37.5K. And the arenas, 500 MT, and 36 of them, which comes in at about 18K. So in total, we would add 545 cards, give or take, to our collection for a combined 275k MT. And like I said, that is uh, the high end of what I would actually be spending. I reckon I could get the majority of these for significantly cheaper. If we come down to jerseys, uh, we have a look at 400 MT, loads of them up. 350 MT, let's take a look couple of them up so I would definitely be able to snipe them uh, get a lot of them on my open bid of course when we were doing this before we were picking them all up for about under 300 to 350 MT so I would be able to get them for a lot cheaper but as a high estimate 545 cards for 275 KNT is not bad at all so that would put us back at about 1800 cards and of course then we need to get the rest of them so out of here I have picked uh, the spotlight sets I've chosen about 10 cards from each I haven't like gone through and chosen them I'm just saying on average I get about 10 cards from each set and there are of course 10 small lights out that we can go through so that comes in at another 100 cards i'm going to put an average of about 3000 mt on them because some of them are a little bit expensive so that will come in about 300k for those extra 100 cards which is a little bit expensive for the promos which is of course multi-dimensional lights out frostbite and new year i don't think there are any others there aren't uh there's 10 of those so i'll say about oh no wait 10 players from each four promo another 40 cards uh 3k each Coming in about 120,000 MT. Moments of the weeks. I reckon I could get about another 40 cards for reasonably cheap. Again, I'm going to put about 3k MT on those. Another 120k. The legacy packs, which are up here, Series 1 and Series 2. Obviously, I wouldn't be getting any of the diamonds. It would just be the amethyst and lowers. And I reckon there's about 30 of those I could pick up for about 5k. So there's another 150k. And then the prime sets, which is uh, here and over here. There's about 15 cards I could pick up, which at 5k each comes in about 45k. So... In total, for all of those cards I have just mentioned, it will be another 225 cards into the collection, but they would cost about 700k. Again, that is a high estimate, so I would be able to get a majority of them for a lot cheaper, but 
about 700k, so about 950k it would cost me, and I did the maths, that puts me at 2,050 cards, so it would get me back to where I was before, uh, and it would cost me 950k, so I wouldn't have too much left in the bank, and of course the things that is going to then push me up in the collector level rewards are these Series 2 sets, but they are expensive. Expensive. I think I heard Shake say he paid like 90k for this card, and it looks like he does sell for 100k, which is absolutely obscene. I don't know what is wrong with people. Why are they paying that? I do not know. I mean, we come over here and we got the uh, AD, which comes in with no Hall of Fame badges, zero on a pink diamond, and he's selling for like 60k. What are people doing? I do not understand this for the life of me. But people are all over the place. I guess they're just seeing new cards and they want to complete them. But I don't really understand that, so that is very strange. So that is where the majority of the rest of our cards would have to come from. Obviously, we've already got still most of the heat check cards here. Uh, the Hornet set is the only one that we've actually sold. But other than that, there's only a couple of players from each set that we could actually pick up. And other than that, there's not really anybody else we could add into the club. So I don't know how people are so far up. Uh, well, I do know because they've got all of those uh, current Series 2 sets. Uh, of course, people do have some bonus, so they are at 2,600 cards, which is insane. But they do have all of these things. So they've got all the Sapphire rewards, all the Ruby rewards, all the Amethyst rewards. But, of course, we don't want to waste our tokens on that just yet. So, yeah, pretty crazy, not going to lie. Um, but it just shows that you need about a million MT to get from where I am up to 2,000 cards, which is a lot of MT to go through. So probably not going to be doing that anytime soon, that is fair to say. So we are now going to jump into some triple threat off or online gameplay with the Zion Williamson, who is not a small forward. He must be a power forward, as he is. There is six foot six, of course, so pretty undersized, not gonna lie. Uh, and we'll bring the big diesel. Uh, do we want to bring the big diesel, or do we want someone who's an outside presence as well? We'll bring someone who's an outside presence as well. Jason Kidd, obviously, for his Evo, um, and hopefully, we'll just get a good couple of lobs uh, with Zion Williamson. Hopefully, get a nice couple of dunk dunks with him. I uh, haven't played Triple Threat online in a little while, and as I have said, and as you can probably hear, I'm a little bit ill, but. Uh, we're going to try and do what I can in this game, try and give Zion a little bit of a run out and just see how he plays. So, it's my first game of Triple Threat Online in quite some time. So you saw we only played, we've only played three games this month and we are halfway through February. So, we really haven't played it much at all because there hasn't been an event really for it. And we are coming up against someone with Pink Diamond, Moses Malone, Gilbert and T-Mac. That's really not what I want. What, what, oh, I can't even talk. That's really not what I want to see today. Um, but, you know what, let's just see what Zion can do. Okay, so that was a disaster, not gonna lie, I'm not gonna show you any of the game because I did just quit out of it, I just could not be bothered to play against that guy who was obviously like try-harding it because of this event and I am in no mood to play that. I just wanted that nice chill game and I wasn't gonna get that, so we're gonna come out, we're gonna put Pink Diamond Jeremy Lin in, just give him a little run out, we haven't actually played with him since becoming a Pink Diamond and Embiid really didn't impress me in that last game, so we're gonna go back to Miles Turner, who I did used to run with in Triple Threat Online, so... I know his release a little bit better than Embiid, and in my opinion, he is a lot better and more solid defensively. So, let's see who our second opponent is going to be. Hopefully, it's not full pink diamond and like a full tryhard. I just do not have the energy to do that today, but I do want to get some gameplay with him. Who are we going to be facing? It is going to be a Jeremy Lin. It's a fully Evo squad. Kareem, Jeremy Lin, and Iman Shumpert. All right, fair enough. So, Iman Shumpert should be guarded up against Zion, uh, and I think he has got pretty good defensive stats. So, I don't think we're getting... Too many blow buys, but if he is going to sit in the corner, hopefully we'll be able to get a good couple of shots with him. He's going to come over with Shumper. He's not, and that that was just ridiculous from Jeremy Lin, wasn't it? Why on earth he took it up like that? I don't know, but we did manage to get the three to go with Miles Turner. Like I said, I know his release uh, just a little bit better. Uh, oh, look at this guy. I'm really <laughs> reading him all over the place. Uh, Miles Turner, get in the way. So yeah, pink diamond Jeremy Lin against diamond Jeremy Lin, and that is going to be a block for our Jeremy Lin. Let's get it. Big plays. Zion with his hand up. Didn't quite manage to get that one. And uh, we have recovered quite well for Zion to get a block of this one. So at least we've got a highlight with Zion already, which is awesome. That is a bad shot. Zion gets a rebound, and we are going to be running this one down. How's he going to play this? He's going to leave us wide open with Zion. Sadly, everyone just seemed to descend down right at the wrong time. Let's not leave Shumper open. That is a bad shot. And uh, Zion was all over that. We'll try and get him going to the rim, but it's just not going to happen, is it? Uh, I'll tell you what, let's send him running to the rim, and let's throw an oop. Hello, I pressed the button for an alley-oop. It didn't want it, though, and you've got to hate that. 
a bad shot and we are running down here. We've got Miles Turner inside for the alley-oop and he's going to get that one to go. I would have liked Zion to be there, not going to lie. Uh, surely I've got to get at least one bucket with him, otherwise it is just an absolute travesty. Uh, so I will do my best to at least get one bucket with him uh, during this gameplay. But of course, it's triple threat online, so you don't really want to force it defensively though. Look at that, what... Miles, come on, get that board. Defensive though, absolutely killing it. Here we go. We're going to go around. We're going to try and take up and over Jeremy Lin. But the 99 driving dunk and Hall of Fame contact finisher apparently isn't enough. He's bricked that though. And we do get the rebound. All right, very nice. So if this guy is just going to camp off ball, uh, we should be able to go around and with Zion. And we're going to go in for the dunk. And there we go. Finally, we get a bucket with Diamond Zion Williamson. And that was a very quick and nice uh, animation. And he gets up and takes it down. There we go. Hall of Fame Showtime showing up there very nice indeed. Uh, not quite two steals on the run, or oh, nearly though, nearly. Thanks for moving three, he's going to break that one. We'll give it to Jeremy Lin and we'll just try and get Zion to come in off the backdoor cut. He has done, but again, I'm wanting alley-oops on these and they're just not sending them up. So a little bit annoyed, but I'm much happier playing this game than I was the last game, that is for sure. Three pink diamonds against a try-hard, or the try-hard with three pink diamonds. I am not about that life. It's a tough shot for Kareem, he's going to brick it and Zion is going to get his second board of the game. We're going to go right around. Can we posterize Kareem? No, we can't, but we can take it up and over him. You love to see it. All right, Zion on the offensive end again. His crossover doesn't seem great, but his behind the back is very nice indeed. We're going to kick this one to Miles Turner for his second three of the game. He's going to break that one. All right, so Miles Turner is a little bit inconsistent from the three-point line. I know this. You guys probably know this as well. We'll give him that three with Jeremy Lin. He's gone ahead and bricked it, so that's really got to hurt. Are we going to get a three with uh, Zion Williamson? We're not. And we're going to try and take it over Kareem, and he manages to get it up and down. So that's 10 points in this one for Zion Williamson, and so close to a steal right there. That would have been really, really nice. Uh, we've left him open for three again. Is he going to hit that one? He is about to. About that time that he actually hit a shot, so fair play to this guy. Right, I do, want, I do want to take a jump shot with Zion. I want to see what it's like. So hopefully if we just burn around him here, he'll come off us. Ah, he's not. He's come off the corner. Well, not the corner. He's come off the middle right there. Zion Williamson just pushed Kareem aside. Get out of the way. We go to the rim, and that is his takeover. And of course, he gets a slashing takeover. Of course he does. Uh, it would be nice if we can get a steal and then a fast break dunk, but I don't think that's going to happen. He chucks up a bad shot. Zion with the board again. Uh, so three rebounds in this one. We're going to go behind the back. We're going to try and just power our way to the rim. We do get stripped along the way. Hall of Fame chase down artist. Are we going to get back in time? Yes, we are. And uh, yeah, defensively, he feels pretty good. He feels really, really nice and quick. He doesn't feel very big, which he obviously isn't, which is a bit of a problem. Uh, that is a bad shot to take. This guy has taken some awful looks. You really hate to see it. Zion Williamson run inside for the alley-oop. There we go. I said it, I wanted one alley-oop with Zion. And we managed to get it. You absolutely love to see it. So that is fantastic. Hall of Fame Lob City finisher uh, showing up right there, which is awesome. This guy's hit another three with Jeremy Lin. But at this point, it doesn't really matter, does it? So let's try and end the game with Zion. Like I said, I do want to take a jump shot with him. God, his crossover is really goddamn slow. That is nasty. He gets a steal, but sadly, goes straight out of bounds. Okay, so let's try that again. Uh, again, crossover is not great, obviously. It really isn't. But we're going to go all the way to the rim, and we're going to slam it down over Kareem and Jeremy Lin. So no jump shots in that one, but just driving and slashing. He feels really fun. I mean, that is just a fun card to use. It's not a meta card. He's not got the height. He's only 6'6". Six six. You can't really play him at the power forward. And even at the small forward position, you're going to be coming up against people with Giannis's and Lamar Odom. So it's not going to be a fun time. But in terms of just a fun card that is just going to slash and dunk and throw down some ridiculous alley-oops, this card seems fantastic. And for a free card that I just had to play for, I am very happy with that. And I do feel really bad, not going to lie, because I know some of you guys play hundreds of games of Triple Threat offline and don't get the good rewards. And I'm out here playing, like, I don't know, 20 games per time that the vault refreshes, and we managed to get the Ruby Dion Waiters and the Diamond Zion Williamson. So I do feel a little bit bad for that, but... I really can't complain. I can't believe it's so similar to the pink diamond one as well. That is crazy. Literally two stats. Two stats is the only difference. So where are we on the board? We've got to be quite down low, surely. So this is going to be one of the first few boards. So it's actually a two ball drop board. We've taken a loss along the way, which was a game I just quit out of, which is fair enough. Uh, so we've got three three ball drops here because, of course, we are, we are in this uh, event where we get a bonus one try. So we've got three ball drops here to try and get this multi-dimensional pack. I don't really want the MT, but it looks like we're going to get the MT. So the next game, uh, which we will jump into, we're going to get three. So if we win that, we're going to get four ball drops. Hopefully it can be for something nice. 
All right, nice. We do actually manage to get the multi-dimensional pack on the second ball drop. So that is fantastic. We're going to get a little pack out of that. We'll save that to the end. Uh, obviously, in the next game, we might get some more packs as well. Oh, we're going to get lucky and get the second pack. No, we're not. Oh, oh that was close, wasn't it? God damn it. Why are you got to tease me like that game? Uh, so chances are we're just going to jump onto some more MT. And it is going to be another 250 MT. Not bad at all. So let's jump into another game. And again, hopefully it's not a full team of pink diamonds and tryhards. I don't want that. I just want a fun game. I just want to throw down some alley-oops. just want to dunk on people. Don't mind me. I just want to enjoy myself. All right, we found another opponent. Who are we going to be facing in this game? It is going to get stuck right here. Obviously, like I said, this is between the event time, so we are going to come across um, <laughs> ridiculous teams. And we've got a pink diamond Zion. So Zion against Zion, D Wade and Shaq. So a ridiculous team, obviously. Uh, a little bit better than ours, not going to lie. Miles Turner against Shaq, not really a fair matchup. Um, but you know what? We'll see what our diamond Zion can do against that pink diamond. Zion Williamson. Like I said, I do want to actually get a jump shot in this game because we didn't get one in the last one. Oh, Zion with the steal on the first possession. We're going to take this one inside with Jeremy Lin, who throws down a very acrobatic dunk right there, uh, which I don't think he was doing at the diamond level, so that you do love to see. We've got a switch here, which we really do not want, not going to lie. That means Shaq is being guarded by Jeremy Lin. He's taken the three instead. He's bricked it, and we do get the rebound. We're going to give this one to Jeremy Lin. We're going to lob this up to Zion. Did you see how far he cocked that one back? Wow, okay, that was impressive. So, Sam Williamson starting off very strongly in this game right here. Let's just uh, make sure we're not giving up anything easy inside. God damn it, that D-Wade is quick. We get the block. I think that was Zion Williamson with a block right there. He does get the ball back, though. And fair enough, he's going to hit that one. But I think that was Zion with a block. God damn, that is feeling really nice. He's going to try and steal it off the inbound. So, let's not let that happen, shall we? Uh, and, yeah, that's Shaq. Look how quick he is. God damn it. We'll see if we can just burn past him right here. We can't. And this guy is genuinely, genuinely going to off-ball in triple threat offline which you absolutely hate to see but it doesn't matter we're going to come around right here and kick it out to miles turner i think that did hit off him uh sadly that would have been a wide open three we need miles turning to be big in this game because the position he's at is where it is going to be left open the majority of the game and uh we're going to have to chuck this one up pass it out to jeremy lynn he's chucked it up it's not the best shot <laughs> jeremy lynn has just made that three pointer hold that pause because you are just camping down with shack which is not impressive at all that is deep for Zion Williamson. Does that one have range extender? It literally must do uh, to be hitting that shot. So fair play. Uh, is this guy now got on ball? It looks like he is, which is okay by me. He's come off Zion in the corner for his first shot. And it's a green light. The first jump shot with Zion is a green. Who'd have thought it? Definitely not me. Um, but there we go. Zion Williamson feeling really nice with a very, very nice release right there. That was some horrendous lag. Not good. Oh, it's still lagging. Jesus Christ, this is awful. Uh, and somehow... It cleans up just as he gets that bucket to go. So uh, that makes sense, doesn't it? But anyway, we're going to come down here. We're going to lob this one back up for Zion. Just tell me what's happened. Just, just tell me what has happened right there. A pink diamond. Jeremy Lin has just thrown an alley-oop off of the rim. That just happened. Right, okay, that makes sense then. Nice one, 2K. Why you got to ruin my highlights? Why you got to do this to me? He's left Zion again in the corner. It's not green. Mm, and he's not going to hit it. That's going to be our ball, though. It should be. Yes, it is. All right. So a little bit longer on the release. I need to hold that down for, for Zion. Um, but he is getting open, which is good to see. Okay, this lag is really no joke. We're going to come down with Jeremy Lin, and we are going to pass this one. Whoa! I have never done that dunk animation in my 2K life. Uh, and we managed to do it with Jeremy Lin, of all people. Are you kidding me? That is insane. We've got Miles Turner open for three. It's a full white. And I think that might have been a full white glitch. So that really does suck. Uh, and he's got Shaq. Hello. Can we get in the paint? Yes, we can. And he's got Met at the rim. And he has been sent away at the rim. And we've got Zion against Zion. We're going to try and take it inside. And it's an and one. As if Zion absolutely killing it. Um, but my God, that dunk from Jeremy Lin. Are you kidding me? How on earth? Look at this lag. My God. Uh, that, that dunk from Jeremy Lin is better than that alley -oop by far. Wow. Okay, I've seen that dunk on uh, like 2k reddit and stuff, but I've never seen that dunk in game We're gonna lob this one up to Zion and he's got his takeover and this card. This is what I mean It's just a fun card to use. He's not the meta. He's not gonna be in comp squads He's not gonna be in the 250k squads Although I think he is actually on the bench uh, of one of the guys squads But he is just a fun fun card to use and that is a bad shot to take my guy We're gonna give this one to Jeremy Lin. We're gonna throw the alley-oop and uh, Zion is gonna come in eventually <laughs> Why was he not running inside? Come on, Zion, man. You could have had a mad highlight right there. This guy's gone in for an alley-oop. 
<laughs> and Miles Turner has had enough of the alley oops and swats that one away very nicely indeed. Shaq at the three point line is not a problem. You can take a three with Shaq if you want, my friend. It's probably not going to go, is it? Not going to go at all. And Zion Williamson is going to come down. I'm tempted to dunk on Shaq. But I know it's probably not going to happen. So we will pull this one back out. We'll go for the ISO. Uh, this guy has gone to off-balling. So we'll give him a little bit of a pause right there. Just to try and mess him up. We're going to fake to go inside. Zion for the game. It's green from Zion Williamson, who has absolutely killed it in that game. Let's not forget, that guy had Pink Diamond, Shaq, Wade, and Zion. And our Zion Williamson, the diamond one, has absolutely carried us. All right, that is a card that I genuinely might actually put into my squad at the uh, bench level or even just in the reserves just so I can bring out if I am winning highly in a game uh, we can just bring them out and have some fun uh, five or six from the floor two or three from three a steal a block and an assist and a rebound as well that is a fun card to use now the di the pink diamond is basically exactly the same with a couple more hall of fame badges do I think it's worth 150k probably not uh, just for fun I don't think that's really good value but if you've got the MT to blow and you just want a fun card to use this Zion is definitely, definitely that. So let's see what we're going to get in the rewards. Hopefully the board can be a little bit nicer uh, than the last one. If we can have some nice token amounts or some better packs, that'd be great. We've got three tokens in the middle. I've got four, slot, four chances to try and get it. So let's see if we can hit it. And on the first ball, we go ahead and get the three tokens from that first slot right there. So we get another three chances to try and get the one down the bottom. That'd be really nice. Six tokens from one game I will happily take. And if we can hit the spinners as well, get a little bit more MT, that would also be very nice indeed. Uh, and yeah, I'll have to try and get into more triple threat in the next couple of days because we are near to getting towards the top of this little run. Hopefully they keep adding in triple threat online events. We need a two times MT multiplier. We need a two times token multiplier. Uh, they are the best ones that you can get, obviously. This one's not bad, an extra ball drop. So if you get to those top two games, you get six ball drops per win, which is big. Um, but yeah, I think the uh, multipliers are the best events by far. So it doesn't look like we're going to get the tokens on this spin either. And it's all going to come down to the final ball drop. All right, and on the final ball drop, we are going to get just 250 MT. So we made a decent little bit of MT from those games right there. Hit the spinner a couple of times. You see there we've got 550 MT, which isn't bad. And let's go ahead and open the multidimensional pack. I think Amethyst MJ is the best we could get out of here, which I'm definitely not expecting. We get a Sapphire, and it is Jermaine O'Neal. So it is from the set, which is pretty cool. So we'll go ahead and take a look and see if he's got any value. Most likely not. Uh, but you never know, Sapphire Jermaine O'Neal, he sells for a whopping 3,000 MT. That's not actually that bad, is it, to be fair? Oh, no, wait, okay, 1,000 MT, that is pretty bad. So 1,000 MT for him, but you know what, it is better than nothing. So Diamond's Iron Williamson, very, very impressive card. Have to say, if you guys have got him from the vault, consider yourselves very lucky, because this card is fantastic. And if you haven't got him, I feel very bad that I've got him and you guys haven't, because you've probably played a lot more games than I have. But anyway, let's get into some comments from yesterday's video before we get out of here and before I actually die. Um, so first one, Lil Hubbard. Should I Evo Lin or get Jar or Jamal Murray? I would say Evo Lin, just because he is so much better. It's a lot of work to get him, but... It is definitely, definitely worth it. I mean, you look here and you compare him to Jeremy Lin. Jeremy Lin is up on the uh, draw foul, close shot, uh, mid-range plus one, not much, but still. Passing's up quite a lot. Defensively, quite a lot A boost. Uh, same with rebounding, same with the athleticism as well, and the mental stats. And then 17 Hall of Fame badges, including stuff like clamps and uh, range extender, which I know Jamal Murray has. And the similar situation with Jar Morant as well. So I would say Evo Lin, it is a lot of work, but it is definitely worth it. Next up, Kevin Sanchara says... What's the best budget centre other than Shaq? So I, would put, I would say people like Diamond DeAndre Ayton, Diamond Cat, Diamond Embiid. Uh, they're all very, very good cards. Out of the three of them, if I had to pick one, I would probably go for Ayton. So I really do like that card. Or even Amethyst Miles Turner. I do absolutely love that card as well. Nolan Menendez says, who is your favourite top five pink diamonds this year? So if we come over to my main squad, I would say Shaq. Well, no, Giannis. Giannis is number one by far, Giannis. Shaq definitely is up there. Uh, Jeremy Lin, because I know how good he is at the second diamond level, I'm going to say him as well because he is fantastic. I really like Paul Millsap. Uh, looking at the rest of the ones in my squad, there's really not too many here that I actually do enjoy and get along with. If we come down to cards that I've used this year as well that are pink diamonds, uh, legacy sets, I haven't used any of those guys. Did I use any of these prime players? I don't think I did. T-Mac would probably be up there, realistically, if I actually had the money to get him, which I do not. 
Uh, Hakeem was a fantastic card. I know I've just gone way over five cards, but it is what it is. Um, but yeah, I think probably the ones that I've just listed off. Gilbert Arenas, when I had him, he was fantastic. Um, and I think that's probably about it, to be fair. I think that might be five, might have been six. But anyway, you get the gist. There's a lot of good cards out there, that is for sure. Next up, Thomas Katsoros. Katsoros? Katsoros. Katsoros. Um, anyway, it says, Hi JD, love the vids, so thank you very much Thomas, and I'm sorry that I butchered your name. Do you think there eventually will be an all position card for the position locks? Just curious on your thoughts. So I think you mean like having a card with like ridiculous amounts of positions that they can have, but I think it will be throughout the year just two. I don't think we'll see any more than two throughout the entirety of the year. I think if they were going to have three by now, they probably would have done it, but I think two is going to be the limit for this year, which is good because I guess position locks were put in place for a reason, and if someone has, if one card has three positions, it's going to go for a ridiculous amount, and obviously then it's going to be a big disadvantage for everyone else as well. Next up, a comment from Dam, who says, "Just got the game a month ago. Is it worth, is it worth saving my tokens or spending them on players, or should I use them on packs at this point in the game?" So. Do not spend your tokens on packs, whatever you do, and do not spend your tokens at the moment. So we are due another token update in a couple of weeks' time. Hopefully by the end of February we should get another update, and that is when you want to spend your tokens. Do not spend them just now. Next up, Matthew Rutz says, What pink diamond point guard do you recommend that I should get? So it massively depends on your budget. Uh, if you don't have a budget, get this guy, Jeremy Lin. If you do have a budget but it's not much, get pink diamond Walt Frazier. If you have a budget but it's a little bit higher than that, I'd say go for someone like uh, Derek Rose or Gilbert Arenas, uh, who's over here. And if you don't have a budget, if you just got unlimited MT, pick up the Pink Diamond Magic Johnson, because this guy is expensive, but goddamn, he is going to be a fantastic card. All right, we move on. Next up, Caleb Hornbeck says, when should I sell Pink Diamond D. Wade with a diamond contract? I got him for 170k yesterday, so that is a very good price indeed. We've come over here to Prime Series 2, D. Wade selling for about 200k without a diamond contract, so you should easily get over 200k for him, um, which is good. I would say wait until he hits about 220, 230, 240k, which should be in an the next couple of weeks Paul Zingis has gone up in price he was 200k when he first came out so just buy your time with him he will go up and in the meantime just use him because he is of course a fantastic card uh, a new Eddie says when is the best day to purchase pink diamond Tracy McGrady uh, when they drop the uh, all-star weekend content there should be a lot of pink diamonds uh, some really high rated cards some really usable cards and I think that will probably push down the price of this card and every other expensive card in the game he probably won't come down too much though to be fair he might come down to 300k but he's always going to be a very very expensive card so you better have a lot of MT if you're actually wanting to pick up that card we come on to the final few comments, and we've got a couple of people, we've got Eric and we have Daniel saying that current NBA cards are still in NBA heat check packs, which they are, that was confirmed by 2 Bros Gaming. so Robbie on Twitter confirmed that Series 1 cards are still in heat check cards, in heat check packs, so they're not going to go extinct, they're not going to go super expensive, but they are definitely still going to go up in value, that is for sure, so I'm definitely glad I bought these guys when I did, uh, looks like Giannis is already a little bit more expensive, or is he about the same? No, he's, he's a little bit more expensive. I think I've got mine for about 6 or 7k, so I would definitely recommend buying them now rather than later. Jackson 2k says, should I keep Vince Carter or not? I would say keep him because he's a fantastic card. Unless you really need the MT, then I would definitely say hold on to him because he is a fantastic card. And then the final comment of the day, we're going to go with Sylvia, who says, is it worth selling my D-Wade before the All-Star break? Um, it might be worth it to be fair if you are planning on buying other cards if you're not looking at keeping him for an investment and the same goes for the comment about D-Wade earlier I would say sell him tonight probably because tomorrow we should be getting all-star content and we should be getting content throughout the weekend hopefully they did last year so hopefully and fingers crossed they actually continue that this year as well so that's going to be it for today's video guys I'm sorry I sound so bad hopefully tomorrow I'm feeling a little bit better but I'm really happy with the co uh, highlights we got with Zion really happy with that he is a very fun card indeed so that's going to be it for the video today as usual please like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.